the fear of tinnitus and the fear of making our tinnitus worse because of outside sounds is for me personally one of the worst parts about the tinnitus journey and one of the areas that I work on the most. And in this video, I wanna share with you some of my thoughts, some of my philosophies and some of the ways that I overcome this fear. So my name is Jai Rubinacci. I'm a professional musician and songwriter. I've had tinnitus for over 22 years. I'm currently a group leader at Tinnitus UK. I've written two books on the subject. I've been interviewed multiple times on many podcasts about the tools that I write about in my books. I've also got a website called helpmytinnitus.com where you can download my free PDF, Five Tips for Tinnitus. So let's look at that fear of tinnitus and let's see what we can do about it. So if we fear our tinnitus, if we fear it getting worse, if we fear that outside sounds might aggravate it, then we are under its control. Our tinnitus is basically in charge. The fear that we carry in that situation and the stress that accompanies that fear is in my mind just as bad as the tinnitus itself. And here's why, because we can't win. It's impossible to win that battle. We can't protect ourselves from all the sounds in the world. It's just impossible. No matter how hard we try, we live in a world full of sound. So having a normal and relaxed relationship to sound, I think is really important. But for people with tinnitus like us, it takes work. And like all things related to tinnitus, we have to be proactive. We have to work at maintaining a healthy relationship to sound so that we don't become sort of captured in this cycle of fear. Was that too loud? Was that too loud? That's not a way to live. Now, an important thing to say at this point in the video, what I'm talking about here is people with tinnitus. I'm not referring to hypercusis, which is a totally other topic that I don't cover in my videos. So having a healthy and calm relationship to sound allows us to live a fulfilled life. It's not easy. I want to be honest and say that it's something that I really, I personally really have to work on this. This is one of the areas that I have to work on the most because being a musician, of course, I'm surrounded by a lot of noise every day. So this is one of the areas that I really have to open up to and say, I work on this probably the most. And I want to give you an example of what I mean, something that happened to me recently. A few weeks ago, I was on a boat trip a short weekend away. It was a large passenger ship with hundreds of people on it. So there was a lot of noise, people, children, music, etc. I used earplugs when I was in loud areas like the bar, but for the most part, I didn't use earplugs and I was fine. When we docked in Europe, we had a few hours to explore the port area. It was a Sunday and it was super, super quiet in town. I couldn't believe how quiet it was. Then as I was casually walking up a small side street, unaware that just around the corner there was a very large church. Out of the blue, this huge sound of the midday church bell started ringing at volumes that I can't even begin to explain. It was incredibly loud. Now I've got nothing against church bells. I like the sound of church bells just as much as anyone else on a Sunday, but when they're in the distance, I didn't know that I was that close to the church because like I say, they were just, so loud, I couldn't believe it. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I just brushed it off like nothing happened because I didn't. It took me at least 10 minutes just to gather my thoughts, calm down, think through what had just happened and just try and calm my mind down. I would have preferred if it hadn't happened, of course, but it had and I faced the choice. I had to decide what was I gonna do? Was I gonna sit here and worry about it all day long and ruin the little holiday that I was on? Or was I just gonna think it through, realize that probably nothing has happened and just get on with my little holiday? And that's exactly what I did. I thought it through, realized that probably nothing happened and I just got on with my holiday and nothing happened at all. The next few days, I was totally fine. But the reason why I bring this episode up is because I think it illustrates the sort of cycle that I go through and the things that I have to tell myself on a regular basis. And that is namely, Fearing our tinnitus and fearing that outside noise will make our tinnitus worse keeps us trapped. It keeps us wanting to get a smaller and smaller life and we simply cannot allow that to happen. We need to expand our lives rather than contract them. We need to make them bigger, enjoy them more, do more things we do love doing because that's exactly the best way to deal with tinnitus. And what's worse, by fearing anything, it keeps your mind on that particular fear. The more we let the fear take over, the more we fear our tinnitus getting worse, the more we are actually focusing on it 
And that fear itself, focusing on the tinnitus, can actually itself cause, in my mind, an increase in the volume or increasing the perception of the volume. So we are doing ourselves no favors. We are making our, set, our lives smaller and smaller because of the fear of sound. And potentially we're actually making the focus on our tinnitus make the tinnitus worse. We have to be brave. We have to be strong and we have to work on it just like I do every day. And if I really analyze my personal relationship to sound in terms of my tinnitus, over the last 22 years of having it, the only times that I've been affected by sound is when I've been exposed to a very loud noise for at least one or two minutes, like a house alarm that was very, very loud that went off back in 2016 that we couldn't get switched off. That was one time. Or if I've been exposed to sound that has frequencies, perhaps high frequencies that irritate my ears for a long extended period of time. Say for example, two or three hours. So the point that I'm making is, there have been very few times that sound has actually aggravated my tinnitus. It's 99% of the sound, everyday sounds in the world, just don't affect my tinnitus. And bear in mind that I have severe tinnitus. So what's the takeaway? Protecting our ears is fundamental. We know this and I'm sure you probably protect your ears when you're in loud environments. I'm sure that you're conscious of that. This is obviously very important and I encourage all tinnitus sufferers to use hearing protection when in loud environments such as concerts, cinemas, or working with loud equipment. But we can't protect our ears from all sounds. That's just not possible and it's not a way to live. So we have to try to actively let go of any fear that we have of making the tinnitus worse because of everyday noise. That allows us to live a normal and happy life and that's the best remedy against tinnitus. Here's a little experiment for you. The next time you're on holiday or doing something that really makes you happy, say being with friends, having a good time, having a laugh on family, maybe you're on the beach, talking to your friends, enjoying the sun, the wind blowing in your ears. Next time you do that, when you go home, when you're driving home, walking home, back in the hotel room, whatever, think to yourself, did I think about my tinnitus today? The answer is probably no. You quite probably totally forgot that you had tinnitus. That's what I'm talking about. Happened to me a while ago, it was the first time I realized this. I was on holiday with my family in Crete. It took me a couple of days to remember I have tinnitus and I have severe tinnitus. That's what I'm talking about. That is the importance of distractions, the importance of living a busy life, because it's the best, best remedy. Fear and anxiety does one thing. It keeps us under its power. And the bigger the fear and the anxiety becomes, the more power it has over us. It's not easy, I know that. I've dealt with a lot of anxiety and I know it's not easy, but the more you face your anxiety and your fear towards your tinnitus, the better your life will be. It really is that simple. So I hope this video was useful. I hope more importantly, it was helpful. Uh, if you liked it, maybe you wanna leave a like or a comment. This channel is new, so if you wanna to subscribe to it, that's great, gonna be sharing lots of new stuff. I've got a website called helpmytinnitus.com where you can download my free, tip, my free PDF, five tips for tinnitus. But for now, I want to say from me and Fluffy, thanks for watching and I shall see you on the next one.